What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Italian Football TV. So this is going to be a little bit different. As many of you know, we went, me and Mark went to like a Serie A convention whole thing. And we went to like a, a Juve convention afterwards, a huge meetup. So it was awesome. We are totally drained. It is a, currently 1 o'clock in the morning. 1.02. 1.02 in the morning, exactly, Marco. But we never missed a day of the Mercato. So we knew, even though it's not going to be crazy edited and stuff, we just want to put out the news because everyone's asking for it. So we're just going to go in there. Marco's uh, editing actually the vlog. So I'm mostly going to be talking about it and then I'll ask him for his opinions on some of them. So let's Vlog's get into it. coming soon, all right? Editing this shit now. Okay, so the first bit of news, we're going to talk about Roma, yes, Roma. We're actually in the convention, James Palota there, Roma's president actually, and he was actually talking about the progression of the Serie A, also Roma. It's going to be in the vlog. Yes, it's going to be in the vlog, exactly. Marco always has an ear and I see that. So Palota was actually talking about uh, Roma's new stadium, and he was saying the future for it. They say about 10 days, they're going to get their approval for it, which is awesome for Roma. Uh, then by uh, March or February, they're going to start making the Stadio della Roma. It's gonna be amazing. Apparently, it's gonna be 55,000 uh, capacity in the stadium. So there's definitely gonna be a huge up in the Serie. A. So they're gonna have their own stadium, and Lazio's gonna stick with the Stadio Olimpico. So this is some good changes that we want to see. By the way, I got some exclusive hashtag Mike the Milan fan I'm information in this fan. vlog. So you gotta make sure you see it. <laughs> you say you're not a Milan fan, but I've got like at least two or three cases that I'm Maybe watching I right joke now. Joke around, vlog. jokes. I think not. Oh man. Right, okay, moving on to the next bit of Roma news. We talked about uh, De Ferrell. He arrived in Trigoria actually, and he will be taking uh, his medicals tomorrow. He said how happy he is for this whole adventure, how happy he is to talk with De Francesco, and it's just gonna be good. I I'm not too fond of De Ferrell, but it I think he could be a good backup uh, striker for sure. And he's, a, he's gonna get a solid maybe 10 goals. He's gonna be coming off the bench. So maybe it's not the worst move. And we all know De Francesco knows more than us. You know, they were both playing at Sassuolo. So I think this could potentially be a good move for Roma. So let's move on to some Juventus news. We all know Rincon came in to replace, uh, you know, Pogba. And it, it, it wasn't that good. He replaced Pogba. He was supposed to. He did not something. replace Pogba. I know Pogba. he didn't. He signed him in January. Okay, whatever. Uh, he came in to fill a void that... He came in to fill a void that he wasn't good enough from Genoa, so it doesn't look like he's in Allegri's plans actually. And we got a few Serie A teams interested, so apparently Atalanta, Fiorentina are interested, and also Zenit really? from Russia. So I wonder where he's going. He's definitely going alone. Let's be honest. Uh, he's oh, not let's be stay, man. I love the Venezuelan fans. They're the best. Oh yeah, in the they have world. amazing passion, but he's so. not the best. Hopefully, he does stay in the Serie A. Oh, I feel like man. he has a lot to offer. He sells more sure. jerseys than anyone else on the team. <laughs> That's true. So moving on to more Juve news. Everyone's been talking about Bernadette. So apparently uh, Sky is saying they didn't find an agreement yet, but Di Marzio does think in the coming days it could be done for around 40 million euros uh, for Bernadeschi oh, yeah. for Juventus. Uh, I don't know. Ho hopefully in the next few days it's going to be official. We all know how crazy these Fiorentina fans, they don't want him to go. They're already pissed at him. So it doesn't really matter if he does end up at Juve. And they're also apparently, in uh, Juve are also interested in Milinkovic Savic. There's some interest in that for sure, and they're willing to pay 35 million plus 5 million in bonuses. I think this would be actually a good transfer, Marco. What do you think? Milinko Vesavi had a great season at Lazio. He's young, and yeah. I think he's very hungry. He could be, and it's not that 35. Okay, it's not it's not cheap uh, for a youngster like him who had a breakout season last season with Lazio. The guy that I want though is Verratti. Okay, so we have Verratti news later after this, but. Uh, moving on to more uh, Juve news. We all know Chesney got revealed as a Juve player and all that stuff. It's official. So I'm you know. excited for him. I know everyone is against this move. Everyone we talked to today was almost, almost everyone didn't like him, including you, Mike. You don't think he's a smart I, move. I don't. I think, think he's not that bad. I don't think he's uh, Juve material in, t in terms of being the heir of uh, Buffon. Dude, and I think he was so say, good last season. In okay, he had a good season. That. But I don't think he can replace Buffon. He but he, at either. the end of the day, he's a solid keeper. He's not a bad keeper, definitely yeah. for sure. Uh, but hopefully he does prove me wrong. And let's see what he does. He did say he's training with Buffon. One of the best, if not the best goalkeepers. Not just in Italian uh, football history, Ooh. but in football history. It's Chesney. Oh. No, no, Chesney said that about Buffon. Oh, yeah, of course. So, uh, yeah, that's always good Smart to hear. Guy, and he yeah. says he wants to improve. So it's good to hear about that. We all know there's a lot of Polish fans in the Serie A, especially Juve. So it's good to see for the future. And so we got some some news, actually. We all know the deal collapsed with Patrick Sheik. You know, apparently he had some heart problems or whatever. 
whatever. And there was supposed to be a meeting with Inter about this, right? Yeah. And uh, Sam's lawyer said, uh, Antonio Romei, he said that they didn't talk about Chic, but Di Martio is saying other stuff. He said that uh, Sheik is close to a deal with Inter and they're trying to get the same amount uh, with Juve's terms which is 30 million uh, to pay in two installments in two years. So it looks like what Juve aren't confident in, Inter are looking to pay and take Sheik. Did Sheik didn't agree with Inter yet? No, no, there's no... He didn't formal, do the medical. He didn't, yeah, yeah, he didn't do the... So maybe in 20 days when his heart's better or something, I think, I think it could be official. Smart deal by the Inter. If Inter get Patrick yeah. Sheik... Very, very smart. I think Juve are being a little bit arrogant on this deal. I know he has that heart problem and a lot of people are justifying that. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't agree. And I think that for me still, I feel like Juve still might pull through on this one. Uh, but yeah, if, if Inter get him, very smart. Juve probably going to go for Keita Balde then. Yeah, I can see that. Inter looks like to be very close to them. But moving on to Lazio news actually. So Keita Balde actually put in a tweet. He said, I'm there, always ready to show my worth and professionalism, but today the club has decided not to play me. It looks like Inzaghi did not want to play him. I don't, for, I don't know for what busy apparent, partying and freaking Ibiza. I, I don't know for what apparent reason, but it looks like he's farther away from Lazio. And the one and Inter do look like they're close to him, so I, I can see this potential of him leaving. I still don't Lazio think they're this. gonna sign Keita and Sheep. I don't know, but I think he is going to leave Lazio. He doesn't look happy there. He tweeted this, you know, he put this on his Twitter profile to the public. It's not looking good over there. More Lazio news. Cataldi actually joined Benevento. Remember Cataldi, the 22-year-old? Uh, it was supposed to be the next big thing. He's not doing the best. He's there on loan with obligation to buy. But it's not looking good for him. Last season too, he went to Genoa for the second half of the season. So hopefully he picks up some pace, but he's not looking like that. Benevento. He's not, at least in the set, yeah, right? He's, he's not looking like the player that everyone wanted him to be, unfortunately. So let's move on to some Inter news right here. So actually, Palacio, we all know the Argentinian striker, he is a free agent right now. Why are you talking about this guy? Why not? I love to? Palacio. He's actually linked to a few clubs. Fiorentina, Bologna, and Atalanta, and Genoa are also interested. Bro, we interviewed the Bologna CEO right now, <laughs> actually. True. I'm editing that part right the now. Blog too. Wait, Bolo Atalanta? Well, Fiorentina. Atalanta, bye bye. Fiorentina, bye bye. Maybe Bologna. I, I can see him going. He's a Come solid on. player, even though he hasn't given time at Inter, which is understandable. Inter Atalanta's a model is completely against a player like Palacio. But he's Too a solid young. player, experience. It ah, doesn't matter about that. But moving on to uh, another player that doesn't play a lot, Gabi Goal, yes. He had a good preseason. He says he feels good. Feels good with the coach now, Spalletti. He said he got a fair shot and he wants to give everything. And apparently, he thinks he can uh, start. He thinks it's his chance that he can finally boom. Oh, boy, he's going to go to La Las Palmas. Hopefully, not sit on the bench over there. You think he's going to go alone? I think he'll say it, but I don't know how much time he is going to play, to be honest. Uh, he's one of those Brazilians. I feel like he, he wants to hand it to him, which is not going to happen. He has to really work for a spot. And I guess we'll see from there. Also, Vecino was very close to Inter. Bioli said, uh, Fiorentina's coach, that he's still part of the group, but he is scared that he's, th they are going to activate his release clause, which is 24 million, but Inter had to do it before August 10th uh, for Vecino. Remember oh, how we okay, said okay. he's close to them? Yeah, yeah. So Bioli is saying he's still part of the group, but uh, you know it's expected that it could be his release clause could be activated any day now, apparently, from Inter. So it looks like it could be on his way to Inter over there. Also, to a last Inter news, we talked about Facundo Colidia, the 17-year-old Argentinian striker. He did his medicals. He's going to sign with Inter soon in a few days, and then he's going to stay with Boca Juniors until he's 18 years old, and then he will become an Inter. Listen, he's an Argentinian. He's a striker. He's young. He's bound to a score some Milan goals. It's coming. What do you mean my Milan news? They're coming next, actually. We're talking about Milan news. We'll move on to them. Everyone's talking about Gallo Bellotti, and we got some news for you right here. I'm excited. Marco's excited. The whole city. Uh, you're not excited for Bellotti? No. Get out of here. Not news for him for, to Milan. So we all so we all know that Milan yeah, offered that's... 40 million plus Niang and Paleta, and you know, uh, Kaido yeah, yeah, yeah. rejected it. They're like, we don't want none of it. So in the coming days, actually tomorrow, they're going to have another meeting for him. And Di Marzio is saying that they're going to bulk it up to 60 million plus the two players. And they're saying it could be closed. But if it doesn't get closed, they're giving up on Belotti and they're going for my boy Kalinic in their end of story. They're done with all their stress. So Marco, what do you think? Do you think uh, Kaido is going to be like, whatever, sell him? Or do you think that's it for Milan? They're not going to get him and they're going for Kalinic. I think that Milan hold out. Not Milan hold out, I'm sorry. I think that Torino hold out. 
No point in selling them for that price. They could get more money from these Chinese investors, Chinese owners, and don't pull a Juve, don't sell Bonucci for 40 million, hold out on Belotti and sell him for more. That's what I think. But what if he's a flop next season? He had a great season. Take the risk. Take, Take a risk. risk? Take the risk. He can be worth 10 million next season, or you can get 60 million plus two players. You take the risk? If you have a right next to me on IFTV, <laughs> if he does that bad. No, I, if I was Torino, hold him out. Torino, Milan want him, they got money. You don't sell him, you don't sell him. He's 22, 23 years old. Kids okay. are gonna get better. Okay, okay. Hold out, don't it. sell him for 60 million. And Young and Paletta, bro, don't try to tell me that they're worth that much. <laughs> they are, Come on, bro. At least 15 yeah. million. Give me 15 million for both of them. They're worth that. Yeah, 15 uh, but yeah, like I said, hopefully hopefully it works out because I really would like to see Belotti there. That would make that team legendary don't for go. sure. Don't go. You, you wouldn't go? I don't want him to go. You don't want him? Okay. It's a World enough. Cup year, bro. We'll see. I, I think he'll stay at Milan. Okay, Stay in Milan, go to Milan. Uh, go to Milan, yeah. Already think go. thinking like a Milan fan right here. So the next bit of news for Milan, the last one actually, Morata to Chelsea is a done deal. Milan's target is done, unfortunately. Can you say I predicted this? You did say it. Okay, what happened? Conte and Morata, great relationship. Any Chelsea fans out there, be very, 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 very excited about Morata. Not underrated, I'm not gonna say underrated because he costs a lot of money, but I think that a lot of Chelsea fans are making this sound like such a bad deal. Meanwhile, Morata is a champion, he knows how to score goals, he works hard for the team, he's humble, he's fantastic, he's everything that's great. And at a team that he was at, Juventus, I would have loved to keep Morata. You guys are gonna really enjoy him and he's gonna thrive under Conte, who he's been begging to join. He was so close to joining. The reason he joined Juve was because of Conte. Never got to work with him because of Allegri, and now he gets to join him. Okay. Magic is going to happen. Okay, but let me tell you the catch here. He got signed for 65 million plus the add-ons going to 79 Sad. million. Almost to 80 million for that money. For Chelsea, I would get nothing. Belotti. No, I don't I'm saying, agree. I'm saying for I don't Milan. Agree. For Chelsea. I'm saying for Milan. We're oh. talking about the Serie A over here. Oh, okay. I'm talking about talking Milan. You wouldn't Chelsea. get Belotti if it was pretty much the same amount of money. Morata is more of a guarantee at this moment. Okay. Belotti is more of a, a bet on the future. Okay. And because he's Italian, he's worth a little bit more. I can see that for sure. But at the end of the day, I still go for Belotti. I take my chances. He's young, he's Italian, and he's a Milanese. So what else do you want from him? They're both he expensive, so take out so take out the money out of the equation. So that's it for Milan news. Going to the, the elsewhere news, everything around the Serie A, the rest of the news. So Verratti, there's been go crazy stuff going on with Verratti. His new agent I is Mino I Raiola. I'm so happy. Unbelievable. So, happy. so he said on his uh, Instagram post, he posted, he said, I announced with a media effect, the only person that, that represents me is Mino Raiola. And I we all know that. his old uh, agent, uh, Di Campoli, which which said stuff behind his back. Yeah, and uh, he debunked the whole thing. He was like, uh, he shouldn't say that to me. I'm happy at PSG. That was very bad communication. Yeah, I feel like that's one of the main reasons why he left and went to Mino Raiola. And also, I think he knows what Mino Raiola does to football. And he knows that Mino Raiola has the money and he has connections to these big clubs, especially Juve. People so, are hating on on Verratti and they really don't like this. I personally really like it. Uh, Nedved and um, Mirarela have that connection. But I think Look good for Verratti. I know he wants, he should get his money, I mean, he should get what he's worth. And with a great marketing guy like Mirarela, he's gonna get paid so much. Yes. He's gonna end Tri up at Barcelona. His value I still think he's, well, it's hard to say. I feel like he's gonna end up Barcelona, but I also feel like he's gonna end up. If I, if I was Verratti, I'd do the same thing. Mino Raiola, if he's yeah. on your side, he's the best person I you agree. can have. Who cares who hates against 100%. you? Hundred percent. At the end of the day, uh, you're doing what's 100%. best for you, and maybe you, you hate him as team. a fan, like you were a Milan yeah. fan. You hate him for the relationship. But as a business partner and respect, yo, know, you're allowed to. But if he's on your side, I choose Mino Raiola as my agent. Hundred percent. That's me. I don't want a boring guy like. You know, anyone who has the complete. And he's talking behind his back. Come on, you're, you're Verratti. You're Verratti. Know, you can get a lot of money. You're a world class player. You can go to the top team, and I think this is best for him. And I think this could trigger a move. I don't think he's going to say at PSG, Marco. I don't see Where it. Where is he going? I want to say Juve, but I don't know. I think Barcelona. <sighs> I don't know, man. I think Barca's gonna offer more, Inter. and Mino Raiola's just gonna be like, they can persuade him. Yeah, I don't know. If he goes to Inter, that'd be sick. Wow, I'll buy Inter jersey. But, <laughs> but, but the last news of the day, we all know that Biasi was Albania's coach. This time, uh, not anymore. Christian Panucci is appointed the new Albanian national team coach from one Italian to the other. Alba uh, Albania national team really likes these Italians and looks like he's gonna be the new coach here. Marco, what do you think about that? Who is it? Christian Panucci. He's gonna be the new Albanian coach. I've never coach. seen him as a coach. Okay, well, I guess he's a nice we'll guy see. though. 
I wonder why with Debias, yeah, but I guess they were still happy with Italians being the coach, so they got a new Italian. Yeah, yeah, so, Debiasi, right before him. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So uh, we don't know how well he did, but he's the new coach right now. But yeah, guys, that's the end of the transfer news right here. So much stuff going on with Berati, with Belotti, and uh, a bunch of crazy inter news. What's going on with them? But yeah, Marco, anything else you want to add at the end of this? Notification shout out. Get oh, that in oh, the meantime. Crap. Yes. I'll do that in the meantime. You're right. Um, yeah, uh, today was an unbelievable day. Oh, yeah. Literally, still 1:15 in the morning right now. Got so much editing to do that Michael's gonna edit this video that you're seeing right now, which is gonna be up a lot earlier. And uh, just going over the footage. I mean, what an amazing day. Interviewing Bologna CEO right now, asking him how long it's gonna be for Bologna to win the Scudetto. Um, being around all these amazing people and making these contacts. Just so important and um, yeah, I, I think that this is the difference. We're really trying to keep every single day and do this every single day. Even if t this video is not gonna have crazy editing, I'm sorry, but it's gonna take us like, it takes like six or eight hours yeah, to does. do those edits. And, uh, and then tomorrow we're not gonna be able to do it, so it's better to just take this L right now, just provide the news and, and do the vlog at the same yeah. time. So yeah, it's better to notification. Okay, yeah, so we got post notification. Listen, I clicked into my hey, you, you guys are gonna go crazy on me. He's a Milan fan. I, I of know, course, I had, he had his plan. I had out. no clue about it. So Thanks his name is fan. Robin Lee's real name, so his uh, handle is Thought uh, Soul V R O B I N. So Thought Soul V Robin. So he's a Milan fan, and he asked for a shout out. This was a random shout out like we do all of them. If you want to get a shout out, DM us on Instagram, DM us on Twitter, and you'll be randomized. And get turn one. on your post notifications oh, for yes. YouTube and, and YouTube. Instagram. Exactly. And you can Extra credit if you do win. Twitter too. <laughs> you'll be your favorite for sure, for sure. But yeah, Marco's getting this vlog out. I'm going to put this news out, and by tomorrow, this vlog should be out. You guys are going to see the craziness what happened today, and you guys will be. It doesn't uh, transmit as much I on know, the video it for some reason. We didn't record enough. We, we got we to gotta get used to holding the camera in public. Yeah, I know. Whatever. We'll, we'll learn though but you guys are gonna be informed of Mercato and see the vlog tomorrow so yeah that's it for today guys uh, I guess we'll talk to you guys later ciao, ciao. yo it's so hot in here